This YCN special is brought to you by Beltate's Building Product Specialist. No matter the projects, their experts will get you the materials you need. Baba's Bar and Grill. Baba's has all your favorites and much more. MJ Harrington and Company. Jewelers and designers since 1948. Ledyard National Bank. Plan well, live well. New London Recreation. And by Sunapi Recreation. Welcome to Sunapi, New Hampshire, celebrating their 250th anniversary with the biggest parade in recent history. With today's parade, we'll celebrate these two and one half centuries of community spirit in this town on the shores of Lake Sunapi. Good day, Dana. Thank you for joining us today. And good morning to you. Dana Ramspot, uh, you and your wife Betty organize this parade. Myself, along with the help of many others, organize this parade. Good. Maybe you could name some of the committee members. Sure. Um, that would be Kathy Springsteen. He, she'd be our chair. Mm -hmm. Myself, Steve Marshall, uh, Ron Garceau also, um, my wife Betty Ramspot, Sharon Parsons, David Cahill, Wendy Nolan, Cheryl Meachin, Becky Rylander, Rylander, and Scott Blewett. Wow, community event. And you've been Indeed. planning this for a year. Uh, we've been planning this for close to 18 months now. Okay, yes. super. Well, yeah. well, well worth all of that. It's a, it's a big anniversary. Yes, it is. Yes. Super. So what, what, what are we going to see today? Just name a few. Uh, let's see. We'll probably see, well, obviously, several fire departments from area communities. Um, many floats today. Uh, let's see, several old cars and a lot of grand marshals, which is kind of different. Oh, I love that. Parade. Well, hey, it's a big birthday, so it we'll is. have that. It so is indeed. Super. Thank you to the great people that make this parade happen. And when we come back, we'll have this year's Sunapee New Hampshire Parade celebrating 250 <coughs> years of community. Please stay tuned for these messages from the fine community-minded businesses that help make this coverage possible. This YCN special is brought to you by Beltate's Building Product Specialist. No matter the projects, their experts will get you the materials you need. Baba's Bar and Grill. Baba's has all your favorites and much more. MJ Harrington and Company. Jewelers and designers since 1948. Ledyard National Bank. Plan well, live well. New London Recreation and by Sunapee Recreation. Welcome back. We're here at Sunapee's Sester Centennial Parade. That's 250 years. I'm Lynn Solomon, joined by Dana Ramspot, who helped organize this great parade. Good morning, Dana. Good morning, Lynn. What a great day. The skies have cleared, and we're starting off with uh, the Sunapee police leading this parade off. How fitting. And look like a great crowd. It was a huge crowd in the harbor that day. Mm-hmm. Super. Well, everyone's been waiting for this event for a, for a year, year and a half in the planning as well. Yeah, mm -hmm. at least a year and a half. Super. Yep. Yeah. Well, look at all the kids waiting for their candy <laughs> and get, getting all the all the fun things getting thrown out of the out of the uh, different parade floats. So leading off is uh, Sunapee Police Department. Do you know who's driving that truck? I'm not familiar with the officer. I can't uh, make that out right now. Mm -hmm. All right, but the fitting that they would lead off the parade. And then followed by a stream of Grand Marshals. How's that? <laughs> well, directly behind the Sunapee Police Cruiser is the uh, Sullivan County Sheriff's Department. Mm -hmm. And directly behind him will be the first of many Grand Marshals. Okay. Now, why is it fitting to have so many for, for a big celebration like this? Right. We, the committee, decided that it was hard to pick just one. Mm -hmm. So, we decided anyone over 90 <laughs> <laughs> was <coughs> uh, contacted, and we got several, basically. And that's the sheriff's that's car right there? That's the sheriff there. right okay. there, yes. Super. Great. And uh, so good. Well, we're a hearty bunch around here, so there's lots of people in their Indeed. 90s. Indeed. <laughs> so yep. good. So how many do you have? I have a total of 11. Oh, I love it. And the first one is Pi Malloy. Now, Pi Malloy is, if I'm not mistaken, he's 102, and he is the Boston Post cane holder for the town of Sunapee. I love it. And That's super. That is our town manager, Donna Nashawati, mm -hmm. driving Pi. Mm -hmm. In that nice Audi convertible. Yes. Glad it cleared up so we could 
to get the convertible tops down. That was the plan. Mm -hmm. And followed by that red Mustang. Love it. Yes, that's Marilyn Morse. Marilyn uh, is a longtime Sun Sunapee resident mm -hmm. as well. And that's Isabel Torno, who is a longtime Sunapee resident. And There's Marilyn again. Yes, Marilyn again. And I must have, uh, we got that convertible from Hillsboro Ford. That was nice. You got yeah, some didn't. donations. That looks like someone related to you there. Yes, there's my father, Gordon Ramspot. Uh huh. And another uh, Grand Marshal, Joe Coleman. Of the Legion, it looks like. Yes. Well decorated in the medals, waving to all the kids. That's nice, getting a nice standing ovation from uh, from some of the crowd members there. And what it, what um, car is your father in there? He's in a uh, Volvo driven by Gisela Paulis. Mm -hmm. She also is a resident of George's Mill. Super. And there's Rachel Osborne. She's a resident, former resident of Sunpeace. She's 102. <laughs> I love it. And Rita <laughs> Smith. In, an, in, an, in another oh Mustang, yes. and there's Rachel's car yeah, again. there's Rachel's car mm -hmm. again. Lots of red cars yeah, for a the lot parade. Of red cars. Yep. It's yep. fitting for a parade. Yep. <coughs> Lillian Nutting, mm -hmm. longtime resident of Sunapee. And, and Rita again. Rita again. That's a vintage Mustang. Yes, it is. Driven by Ruth Gallup. Lillian Nutting, a longtime resident of Sunapee as well. Mm -hmm. Driven by firefighter Bradley Palmer. And that was provided by Newport Chevrolet. Oh, that's great. And here's a surviving couple of Sunapee, Phil and Flora Johnson. Both in their 90s. Yes. He's 94, and I believe she's 93. All that great <laughs> outdoor <laughs> air and fresh water. Yes. Okay, here comes the Sutton S Historical Society. This is the Sunapee Historical Society, and this is uh, Billy Bevan. Uh, and let's see. I see Becky Rylander to the left. Sandy Alexander carrying one of the signs. Don't recognize any of the other members mm -hmm. of the Historical Society. And now this gentleman is a uh, old-time old -time film star from Sunapee, am I right? That is correct. Billy B. Van. Celebrating old-time motion pictures That's made correct. once in the Sunapee Harbor. That's correct. And the area, yes. And this is the Sunapee Zephyr. It is a steam-powered boat. Gorgeous. And what that is certainly a, a, an old antique boat. Yes, it is. And I don't know the exact age on that. However, uh, it is. it will be in the boat parade tomorrow, mm -hmm. as well as it is seen on the lake all the time. Wouldn't be the parade without the roller. That is correct. This is the 1928 Buffalo Springfield roller driven by Fred Gallup. That's great. And that is that part is part of the Historical Society yes. collection. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Historical Society that was that belonged to the town of Sunapee and through tireless efforts of Fred and his mother, they have restored that. And that was used to roll the snow, am I right? No, that is Nope, that was rolled. That was used to roll um, the gravel roads. Oh, back okay, in the before paving. Yes. Okay. Before paving. And there's Lois Gallup on the left in the Gator, and her daughter Zan Gallup mm -hmm. following closely behind on the roller. Mm -hmm. A little bit more of the roller again. Taking that turn yes. is not easy. No, no power steering None. and metal wheels. That's correct. <laughs> and here you can see Gallup Hill Farm. That's also owned by Lois Gallup. A, is that a Model T? What is that? That is a Model A Ford pickup. Okay. And here's the Sunpeak Gardeners. Mm. And let's see. Beds, boxes, and barrels for over 20 years. The Sunpeak Gardeners takes care of all the lovely flowers in the harbor. There are many and they are gorgeous. Yes, That's a lot of work. Yes, it is. And they do an outstanding job. Mm -hmm. Yes, and they keep they keep Sunapee looking great. Yes, they do. And on, this is their float and it's basically a flower bed. Of course. <laughs> Fitting. So how, uh, and that's all volunteer based. It is. Mm -hmm. It is all volunteer so, based. So all those people out doing work, deadheading, watering, Yes. Um, replanting when, when annuals need replanting. Correct. Mm -hmm. On a daily basis. Mm -hmm. 
it's great. Well, it certainly is a tribute to the town because it always looks beautiful in all your common spaces there. Yes, yes, we're very proud of it. Oh, look at that bloat. Beautiful flowers. Yes. We're, we're in the peak season right here, so yes. might as well show off some of our some of our beauty that we have here. In Especially our area. on this lovely day, right? Mm -hmm. Teachers. And here's the Sunapee Teachers Association. Where would we be without them? Right, and Sunapee's got such a great school system for us for a small one one town school. We you are. really are powerhouse. Yep, we in are very fortunate. Academics, athletics, and these are the people that make it happen. Yes. Yes. Nice for them to come out on their yes. on their day off. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a f um, this is a raffle that was held. Um, it is basically a writer's house. Um, Neat. It could be run could be won for I believe the chances were twenty five dollars, and the drawing was held was is to be held on Sunday. Okay, wonderful. Well, good. So, and that was a raffle to help support just the the Scunthorpe school system. That's correct. Mm -hmm. Yes. Terrific. And now, who's coming here? We've got uh, white shutters coming. Yes, this uh, Ford Mustang is a 1964 and a half Ford Mustang owned by Harry and Donna Gazelle. That's beautiful. Again, glad the skies cleared up so Indeed. we could have. Lots of convertible yes. in, in this parade. Yes. The Mustangs have been well represented already this Indeed. early. Indeed. And followed behind, obviously, is the White Shutter community. They are uh, a community of homes right next to the Dewey Beach. Been there for many years. Mm -hmm. And are those year-round or mostly seasonal there? A lot of year-round, but mm -hmm. there are many seasonal as well. Mm. Who are these handsome gentlemen? Uh, these... this. Uh, team is from the Warren Farm, and it is loaded up with various small Sunapee children, and we just felt it wasn't a parade without horses. <laughs> and those are some big ones, they too. They are indeed. A beautiful covered wagon there, too. Yes. And basically, this is uh, the Harbor Livery Stable sponsored this, as okay. well as Sugar River Stables. Okay, and where's the wagon from? Uh, the Warren Farm also. It is it's yes. beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Kids in period costume. Okay, yes. and the first of, uh, uh, let's see, this is the Sh Sherburn Gym? Yes, this is the Sherburn Gym over the years. A little bit more from the Harbor, Harbor Livery. Yeah. yeah, this is the Sherburn Gym over the years, uh, the changes it's been through, and so forth. Mm -hmm. That's located right there on Route 11. Thank you to Mark Yusko's contracting for pulling that. Yes. Oh, showing off those all those banners. Yes. Many, many state championships from the Sunapee School District. Correct. It's also where graduations are held. Mm-hmm. And that's actually the David W. Sherburn Gymnasium. <laughs> this is the Sullivan County Republicans. Good morning. Oh, showing off some of their candidates. Yes. Good idea. Yeah, that election will be coming up uh, in just a few months. Yes, it will. And this is a 1952 Chevrolet pickup. Mm-hmm. Oh, I love the flames on yes, the side. Yes, yes. That's beautiful. And here's the class of 1968, 50th reunion. And is they driven, I don't know exactly who's driving that car right there. And that is a Corvette, I it believe. It is indeed. Mm -hmm. And was it was the uh, reunion this weekend? It was. Mm -hmm. It was indeed. Another great anniversary for Sunapee. Yes. And now this is Sunapee Democrats Sunny coming. Democrats. Yes. Not to be outdone That's by, correct. The, by the by the Republicans following right behind in their period costumes and showing off some of their candidates. Oh, and I, I love the uh, the uh, woman in the in the women votes. <laughs> That's right. Yes. 
showing off that first year that the women were allowed to vote in 1920. I can see this on Following behind them are the <laughs> Bektash Shriners. <laughs> oh my goodness. I drive a Prius and it's <laughs> about as big as that car. So, yep. uh, yes. So, to explain the mini cars. Well, the mini cars are driven in parades by the Bektash Shriners. Mm -hmm. and, and they're called clown cars? Uh, they are, mm -hmm. yes. And all the proceeds that they make go to the Hospital. Oh, wonderful. Yes, which m mostly t is a pediatric hospital. It's actually burn centers. Burn, yes. okay. Yes, it is. That's terrific. So where do they store the fleet? Do you know? Uh, actually, each person that is in there stores it at their house. Oh, that's terrific. I'm sure the kids are dying to get into those. Yeah, right. <laughs> Just their size. And are they gas-powered or electric? They have a lawnmower engine. Though. <laughs> so they're gas. Yes, they are. <laughs> <laughs> that is really fun. Yes, it is. And the guys have fun. Yes. And they come from all over the state. Uh-huh. Terrific. Great that they could come out today and support yes. the parade. And here's the Sunapee Police Department with their boat. And this is basically the Sunapee Police Department's wives and children, whereas all the Sunapee nice. police officers were on duty today. Ex oh, of course. Wonderful that their family could fill in for them, handing yes. out American flags. Absolutely. That's terrific. And they are riding in a boat. Yes, they are. That's the Sunapee police boat. Okay, so, so Sunapee has its own boat. Well, there's so much there's so much of Lake Sunapee in the town of Sunapee. Right. They would, of course, need a boat as well. Correct. It was taken out this morning. They put a little fringe around it, and uh, everybody <laughs> climbed into it. And put, uh, put on your blue shirts, and let's go. Exactly. That's wonderful. We thank all the police officers for working this long weekend. Um, certainly, extra duty was needed by everyone with so many people coming into town for, the, for the celebration. Yep. So we thank them for their service and thank their families as well for being in the parade and for missing, missing the force over the weekend. So... And here's Grand Leiden Association. Grand Leiden is another community in Sunapee. It is built on the site of one of the old hotels. Mm -hmm. That's a beautiful facility. Great view of the lake. Yep. Um, very nice. Both both year-round and seasonal residents there. Um, perched right on the shores of, of Lake Sunapee. Correct. And of course, three dogs. Wouldn't be complete without some dogs in That's the parade. That's right. And the float. Life at Grand Leiden. Wonderful. Wow, that's a terrific float. I love the swim noodle rainbow. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> they do have nice um, dock right there. Um, uh, nice nice beach for the, yes, all the residents of well. Grand Leiden. Yes. Life is life yep. in life Grand is. Leiden. Yep. <laughs> More dogs. Oh yeah, wouldn't be complete. That's a, that's a good turnout for the, for that group. Very good turnout. Mm -hmm. Obviously, love the town that they live in. Yes. This is Project Sunapee. Project Sunapee is a another group in town, and they do different things. They were um, kind of uh, they're in charge of. Uh, all the American flags on the telephone poles, oh, things like that. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, and they do a lot of service projects in, yes, the, in the town as well. Yes, a lot of service well. projects. Mm -hmm. yes. yes, I think I've interviewed a few people on my show in the past, and many things that are good about Sunapee are brought to you by this group. That's correct. And there's Scott Blewett, followed by members of the 
Dewey Beach staff, I believe. Boy, and he's uh, the Department of Recreation That's director, correct. and boy, has he had a busy and great year getting this whole weekend together for the Indeed. town. Indeed. Indeed. He's been very helpful. And this is the Osmond Sargent Land Trust. Mm -hmm. A few more of the Dewey Beach yeah. staff throwing out candy. They would be the most popular <laughs> kids in town. And that's Seymour on the back there with Osmond Sargent. I it think that's is. his name, Seymour the Squirrel, it their is. mascot. Yes. And they do so much to keep our area green, um, preserving a lot of the land that is around here, keeping nice green space. Correct. <coughs> and there's the Quack Shack, which mm -hmm. is the local ice cream shop. Wouldn't be summer without a trip to the Quack Shack right here in the harbor. Great idea for a float. Sure. <laughs> and the ice cream cones. <coughs> just part of what keeps that Sunapee Harbor so vibrant. It's always nice to just go down and get a cone of ice cream at the end of the day. And here comes the Kearsarge Community Band. And I'd like to point out that they're on the uh, back of uh, Bell Tate's truck, which is a local business yes. here in town. Thank you, Bell Tate's. We can stop and listen to them for a minute. Let's take a short break from the Sunapee New Hampshire Parade, celebrating their 250 years of community. But first, a few messages from the businesses that have made today's coverage possible. This YCN special is brought to you by Bell Tate's Building Product Specialist. No matter the projects, their experts will get you the materials you need. Baba's Bar and Grill. Baba's has all your favorites and much more. MJ Harrington and Company. Jewelers and designers since 1948. Ledyard National Bank. Plan well, live well. New London Recreation. And by Sunapee Recreation. Welcome back to the 2018 Sunapee Parade, celebrating the 250 years of this community. I'm Lynn Solomon, joined by the parade chairperson, Dana Ramspot. Tiger Mountain Karate, next. Yes. Showing off some of, some of their, their fine work, and we're going to watch a little demonstration right now. Excellent. I love the little guy in the front. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a great discipline for kids to learn at that age, um, building strength and, and mental mental stamina. Um, we're lucky to have such a great, a great um, force like them right here in town. Indeed. <laughs> great demo. Now what's this coming? Well, this is a 1936 John Deere. Mm -hmm. uh, this is uh, my personal farm, our farm. Oh, it is? Yes, and is my granddaughter Riley and my granddaughter Jamie from oh, the blue. Oh, great. And is that your tractor? It is. That's, that's in actually, great shape. Yes, it's actually the uh, girl's tractor. <laughs> <laughs> Every girl in New Hampshire should have her own tractor. Absolutely. It's perfect. So good, showing a little bit more of our amazing crowd that's come out to watch the parade today. Um, we thank everybody for coming out and helping celebrate this. It's That's um, Michael Todd. It is Michael Todd on an 1807 bicycle. And I he told me it was made in Massachusetts earlier at the start of the parade. And I don't know how he stays up on those I two wheels. Either. I don't either. It was going through puddles and everything. I know it. It was interesting to see him hop up on the thing and take off. Right. That's yeah. That would be interesting to see. <laughs> there, I'll have to ask him to show me that one time. <gasps> this is the Lake Sunapee Yacht Club. Mm, mm -hmm. Yacht Club, of course, been a major staple of the lake for many years. Mm -hmm. They have a beautiful facility right on the shores, and they have two floats today, showing off first a sailboat. Yes. And all the kids in tie-dye. Yep, they do indeed. They have a lot of members at the Lake mm -hmm. Sunapee Yacht Club. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, and the kids can learn to boat there and, uh, you know, just learn all everything good about the water. Correct. Now, this is the Lake Sunapee Protective Association, and without them, Lake Sunapee would not be as clean as it is. They're obviously here in Sunapee, Newbury, and London. Mm -hmm. Yes, and they, they're represented by the Lighthouse, big part of what we all recognize as Lake Sunapee. And uh, yes, they keep our waters crystal clean. Indeed they do. Carol Concrete with a mixer mm -hmm. decided to take part on this lovely day. And that's Sean Carroll III driving. Oh, terrific. Nice family business. Many, many generations. There's at least, yes, as you mentioned, at least three Sean Carrolls yes. um, helping to run that family business. And here comes the town of Sunapee mm -hmm. with their John Deere grader. This grader is approximately a year old, and it is uh, showing off some of the maneuvers that it can do. <laughs> well, with as many dirt roads as we have still in our area, that's a very important piece of machinery. It is. Every spring, they get they get all those um, frost heaves out of the road for us, don't Correct. they? Correct. <laughs> Always happy when I see the road <laughs> grader coming by. We thank the, the town of Sunapee, all the, uh, all the people that hel help keep the roads in good shape and plowed, and that's a good staff you have out there. We yes, we're very fortunate. Mm -hmm. It's a big one. It is indeed. <laughs> yep. <laughs> And that's followed by the town of Sunapee Highway Department's Looks like roller. Th the current roller. That is the current roller. Not the yes. antique roller. That is right. That has air conditioning as well <laughs> as heat. <laughs> yes, those are helpful things. Yes, yes. yes. Particularly the heat. Yes. Yeah, and that one looks a little bit more maneuverable than yes, the antique is. one that yes. we, we saw a little bit back. Absolutely. And here's Leap and Lena. Yes, wouldn't be a parade without Leap and Lena. That is correct. And here's a 64... Mustang, I believe it is, and this was this belonged to uh, Bill Roach, who was a longtime member of Sunapee, mm -hmm. and friend of Roach as well. Great. And then for anybody who hasn't seen Leaf and Lena, this is a trick car that pops wheelies and does lots of other things. Looks like so much fun to be in the back of that. Always a kid's favorite in the yes. parade. And here's Richard Osborne with a 1929 Aaron's Fox pumper. Right, and that actually still pumps water, doesn't it? It does it? indeed. It, it can yep. actually do that. Yep. Yes, and he maintains that. Uh, Richard Osborne of Osborne Marine yes. maintains that himself and yes. keep, keeps it running. It's always such a treat to have in the parade. Yep. And that old-fashioned clang-clang. <laughs> Gorgeous. And Richard is on our fire department. Oh, Sunapee fire department. Terrific. Yes, well, every every fireman should have a, have an right. antique one to, to at home to play with. And here's Richard's wife Charlene mm -hmm. in their 1978 Nova. Wow, I remember those driving around yes. when I was it when I was a youngster. Yep. And here's another member of our fire department, Howard Sargent, with a 1939 Chevrolet pumper. And this actually did belong at one time to the Sunapee Fire Department. Mm hmm Okay. This is Howard's. He owns that and himself he, now. Okay. Oh, I love... A, was it great? Great to have a collection of antique fire truck exactly. or, uh, fire trucks right in your own town. Yeah. <laughs> and that's his daughter behind him and his grandkids mm -hmm. in there as well. Fun. And this gentleman is from George's Mills. And... He likes to drive hearses. Yes, I have right. seen that car around town, and I always wondered who owned it. Yeah. So it's just it's just a private vehicle now. That is just a <laughs> private vehicle. <laughs> Fortunately, the sky's cleared for this parade. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, yes. A gorgeous day. Oh, here's the Bar Harbor Bank and Trust. Yes. Just taken over from Lake Sunapee Bank, and uh, they've been very active with the new ownership in our area. I see them sponsoring 
lots of events. It's great that they could turn out and walk in the parade and throwing candy out to all the all the uh, audience members. Um, they've got branches all over, including one right in Sunfi. I think those kids need some more candy. They <laughs> haven't had enough. Right. The little piggy banks are exactly. cute, too. Cute with the 250 on there. It's a good idea. <laughs> I don't know if they like getting the candy or giving it out more. Giving it looks like out, they're yeah. pretty happy doing both. Sure. This also is Bar Harbor's area. Mm -hmm. This is quite a big parade. You haven't had one this big ever, I don't had think. A parade of this size in a long mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. A long time. It's a, it's a great turnout. It's a it's, it's a good old fashioned fun going yes. just going out and uh, watching a parade and waving to your neighbors and just enjoying some time together. Exactly. So I'm glad you had so, such great turnout. As we mentioned before, uh, this has been in the making for a year and a half. Oh, yes. Um, so big celebration, like a 250 um, calls for a big parade like this one. Indeed. And how, how many entries did you have? I think, I didn't count for sure, but I think I was in the neighborhood of about 72. Wow, that's terrific. Here's another older Chevrolet. I'm thinking 52, if I'm not mistaken. This mm -hmm. is owned by Carlton Collins, mm -hmm. a local builder here in town. That's Carlton at the wheel. Yes, it's another beautiful, beautiful replica. We love our antique cars here because our window to drive them is so short, <laughs> you know, in the summertime. Yes. So people really like to take them out on the parade. Here's the Lake Sunapee Region Chamber of Commerce. That's Patty McGoldrick driving that car. Hello again from the antique. And that's uh, probably Miss Lake Sunapee yes. and Miss Teen Lake Sunapee. That's correct. Waving in the back. Yes. Thanks for representing our area, ladies. And here's Hazel Nilsson. Hazel is 110 years old today, so we decided to have a parade in her honor. Well, that is very fitting. And this woman is such an icon of our area. Um, she is a delightful woman, active in body and mind, still at her age, and she's just a ray of joy for anybody who has ever met her. She is, and she... This is the first float, shall we say, from Sunapee Cove, which is located in George's Mills. Mm -hmm. And there's the rest of the people from Sunapee Cove. Right, all in their activity van. Um, yes. You know, they really, I see that, that bus out quite a bit. Those residents are active. They are going to the beach and just going to the barn playhouse, and they live in a very nice, active uh, residential community there. They do. And here's Stacy's Smoothies. They are located in the... In the Heart of the Harbor. Um, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Stacy Spoonies. They are uh, the major sponsor for tonight's fireworks. Yes, terrific. And that's a pop-up shop. You can only get them in the summer. That's correct. So, got to get there quickly. Um, everyone dressed as a vegetable in the back or yes. a fruit. <laughs> And here's Goshen Fire Department, and that's a mini pumper, and it's driven by Dan Peterson, mm -hmm. their chief. Goshen being a neighboring town, it's great that some of the other towns came out yes. in support of your of your big big holiday. Another truck from Goshen Fire. Mm -hmm. They just recently purchased this truck. We'd like to thank all of the volunteer fire departments in our area, which are, are predominantly in most of the towns. There's still volunteer fire departments. And those people not only keep a day job or run their own business, but they also run the fire department as well. So we thank them. Neighboring town of Springfield showing yes. off one of their trucks. And often during a fire emergency, uh, we do rely on the other towns to come help if it's a bigger fire. That's correct, yes. Fire mutual aid, mm -hmm. big factor. Absolutely. And here's uh, Springfield's newest piece. It's a 3,000-gallon uh, water That's tanker. That's beautiful. Yes, wow. it is. That's a shiny new one. Yes. So this will be the fleet of all the, of all the fire departments right here. Yes. Terrific. Yes. This is the town of Newbury mm -hmm. with their mini pumper mm -hmm. slash rescue.
And the fire departments here do more than just put out fires. There's a lot of water rescue if yes. you've fallen into the ice, anything like that. Um, so they really do keep us safe all year round in many emergencies besides just fire. Indeed. Newbury's got a good looking fleet. Yes, they do. Yeah. The kids love the fire trucks. They do. Mm -hmm. And this is Speedway Safety Services. And this is uh, a division of Golden Cross Ambulance right over in Claremont. Mm -hmm. And you'll find them basically taking care of all the racetracks in New Hampshire. Oh, interesting. So they're the emergency crew that would, that would be on standby yes. if anything happened. Yes. And here's a summer resident of Sunapee, David McCrillis, driving Newport's Engine 2. Okay. So they're both Newport and Sunapee. That's uh, Dave, that lives, right? Dave lives in Sunapee. He does. Yes. Okay. And there's Lieutenant John Early, driving Newport's Ladder 3. And this is firefighter, Sunapee firefighter Rich Hand. And Rich is pulling our original hand pumper. That's gorgeous. As well as our hose cart. We had them both restored many years ago and put wow. them on a trailer. That is beautiful. That was pulled by horses at one point, probably. Actually, actually that hose cart was pulled by humans at one oh, time. Oh, wow. And here's Steve Marshall with his two grandchildren in our one of our very first Hose wagon. Wow, they, that, those, I love the old ones. They're terrific. There's our engine three, driven by Chris Tankhurst. There's our engine one, driven by Daryl Sensabaugh. And here's our ladder five, driven by Captain Matt Blary. That, yeah. actu that actually was in the movie Ladder 49. Oh, wow. That's neat. You've got a, you've got a good sized fleet. Yes. And the Sunapee Safety Services building is beautiful. Yes, it is. Um, houses your fire department as well as the police. Correct. And that is a great yes. prominent building right in town. And it's, it's fitting. It looks as nice as the town of Sunapee is. It's beautiful. And here's our rescue truck, driven by Amelia Gallup. Final piece, our engine two. To wrap up the parade. To wrap up the parade. What a great Sester Centennial 250th anniversary parade. Thanks for putting that together. Not a problem. Okay, well, very good. Well, hope to see you in the next 50 years. <laughs> I hope so, Maybe too. Maybe 250. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for joining us today, Dana. Thank you. This YCN special is brought to you by Beltate's Building Product Specialist. No matter the projects, their experts will get you the materials you need. Baba's Bar and Grill. Baba's has all your favorites and much more. MJ Harrington and Company. Jewelers and designers since 1948. Ledyard National Bank. Plan well, live well. New London Recreation and by Sunapee Recreation.